For the people that don't know, American football is growing at a record pace around the world. In the country of Mexico, there's a professional American football league called the LFA. The league is the top level of professional American football in the country, and the league has an alliance with the CFL. The LFA was founded in 2016. In the 2024 season, the LFA will have a total of nine teams. So let's get into the season predictions for the league. The Black Roosters, 1 and 7. The Black Roosters were founded in 2021 after the relocation of the Condors. The team is based in Corretro City. The team hasn't had much success so far, but they did make a playoff spot in 2022, despite having a losing record in that campaign. In the 2023 season, the Black Roosters finished with a record of one win and nine losses. They were tied for being the worst team in the LFA that season. By all means, I think that they will be the worst team in the new season. The Bosses, 2 and 6. The Bosses had a miserable season last year in their first campaign in the LFA. Their record was one win and nine losses, and they were tied for the worst record in the league. The team was founded in 2022, and originally the team was part of the now defunct Mexican American Football League. The team is based in Ciudad Juarez. So in the new season, I suspect that they won't be that good of a team, and they will miss the playoffs again this year. The Mexicans, 3-5. and five. The team is one of the four original founding teams when the league got started in 2016. The franchise is based in Mexico City. The Mexicans have found success in their history, winning one league championship in 2018 and making the playoffs in three occasions. In the 2023 season, they had a disappointing campaign with a record of three wins and seven losses, and they missed the playoffs after making it the year before. In the new season, I believe that the team will be more competitive and will compete for a playoff spot. The Greyhounds, 4-4. Four and four. The Greyhounds were founded in 2021, and the team is based in Tijuana, Baja, California. In the team's short history, the team had the worst ever season in league history when they went winless in 2022. This was the first ever LFA season where a team went winless. The 2023 season was a lot better. They made a playoff spot for the first time, and they had a record of five wins and five losses. So I think that the Greyhounds will have a good season again this year and will make a playoff spot. The Kings, five and three. The Kings have been around since 2021, and the team is based in Zapopan, Jalisco. In their two seasons as a franchise, the Kings have made the playoffs both times so far, and overall the team has been successful. In the 2023 season, they finished in third place with a record of seven wins and three losses. In that playoff appearance, they made it to the semifinals, and unfortunately they lost that game against the Dinos. I absolutely think that they will have a good season again this year. The Raptors, 5-3. and three. The Raptors are one of the four founding teams of the league. The team is based in Nockalpin. Despite that, the team hasn't won a championship yet. The Raptors have the most playoff appearances with five. The Raptors also have the most Mexico Bowl appearances at three, with their last appearance coming in 2019. In the 2023 season, they just barely missed out on the final playoff spot. They finished that campaign with a record of four wins and six losses. This season, my prediction is that they will make a playoff spot. The Smelters, 6 and 2. The Smelters have been around since 2016, and the team is based in Monterey. The team has been pretty successful as of late by winning the championship in 2022 and by making the playoffs in back to back seasons in a row. In the 2023 season, they finished as the fifth place team, and they had a record of six wins and four losses. In that playoff appearance, they made it to the semifinals against the leaders. Unfortunately for them, they lost that game. This season, my prediction is that they will be an overall stronger team and will make a playoff spot. The leaders, 6-2. and two. The leaders had a wonderful season last year by winning their first championship in franchise history. In the Mexico Bowl, they played against the Dinos, and they won that game 10-0. In the regular season, they finished as the best overall team with an undefeated record. Last season was also their very first campaign in the LFA, after their previous league shutdown. Depending on how this season goes for them, they are looking to repeat as champions this season. 
and that hasn't happened since 2016 to 2017. The Dinos, 7-1. and one. The Dinos are looking to redeem themselves this season after losing a heartbreaking championship game against the leaders. That was their second overall championship game appearance in team history. In the 2023 season, they finished as the second best team with a record of seven wins and three losses. The team has been around since 2016, and the team is based in Saltillo. This season, they will be looking to win their first ever championship, and I believe that could possibly happen this year. So here is my official playoff bracket for 2024. Here are my predictions for those matchups. In the Mexico Bowl, I have the leaders versus the Dinos. And the 2024 Mexico Bowl champions are the Dinos. That would be their first ever championship in team history. So those are the predictions of the LFA this season. What are your predictions? Let me know in the comment area. If you're new, please consider subscribing and also hit that notification bell. And if you love sports, this is definitely the place for you. And also share this video with more sports fans. For more American football videos, please click up here. And thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nathan, I'll see you guys all next time. Just keep loving sports.